Ultima Segmentum. Subsector Resax. Resax Prime. Capital City of Minerva. Chaos Space Marine Incursion. Lord Herschel looked from the balcony of the Governor's Palace at the devastation the Chaos Marines did. The carnage and destruction pleased him as it would please Korn and build up enough power to transform this world into a demon world from which he'd launch raids into other worlds. He moved back into the inside of the governor's room where the body of the aforementioned planet ruler laid along with his bodyguards. A chaos marine entered the room. He was clad in red armor and had the symbols of Korn all over him. Lord Hersher, the capital is in our control and the weakling guardsmen of the corpse emperor are retreating to the neighborhood city to regroup. Should we pursue them? Asked the Berserker. Leave them be. Slaughtering them would be more of an insult, Ixton. Collect all the blood that was spilled and skulls that we collected and proceed with the ritual, replied the Chaos Lord after we're done. We'll deal with them. And if not, then corn starving hounds will. They pose no threat to us as we took care of most of them and their mechanized forces. As you wish, Lord Hersher. The Berserker left the room. Lord Herschel was displeased with the resistance the people of this planet showed. Weak, cowardly, didn't even bother to train their soldiers to actually meet the standards similar to those he saw while fighting Imperial Guard regiments. For him the insects that needed to be trampled. What a disappointment. Is there nothing challenging on this planet that would satisfy me walking down the Great Hall, and walking through the main gate into the now devastated gardens? Corpses of the house militia were all over the place. The Warbands cultists were collecting the blood for the ritual. The skulls were already taken by the Chaos Marines to pile them on the grounds where the ritual were to take place. The Fallen of Starts would need time to enact the ritual. And before that, they'd need to summon warp storms that would engulf the planet. This way they'd take their time with transforming the place without anyone disrupting them. Halfway walking through the gardens the Chaos Lord heard something loud. Explosions he asked himself. Moments later came the sound of roaring engines as three onyx black fire raptors flew above him. Suddenly Lord Hersha heard Ixton through his vox. Lord Hersha we are under attack from loyalist starts they came out of nowhere and are currently engaging our forces return the favor then. I'll join you soon. Lord Hersha was surprised as well as happy that the false emperor's elite appeared. It wasn't long since he and his warband fought them. The last time was against the hammers of dawn. Much blood was spilled and many skulls taken. Hersher readied his power axe and lightning claw and ran to meet up with his chosen who were already fighting the space marines. When he finally reached them in the main road to the palace he also took a look at the marines they were fighting. Black armors with the left chest parts and arms being either cyanide or red. Golden visors and burgundy belts. Strange color scheme. Yet what stood out were the trinkets they had. Oversized bolt pistols that looked as if they were needed to be loaded after each shot. Strange swords that were sharpened from one side and incredibly broad. One had something that looked like a saber, but it was wretched in a power field. Even more striking was the fact that instead of wearing a helmet, he wore a triangular hat. The chosen of the cornered Chaos Lord managed to kill six of the marines before their master joined them. But in return three of the Chaos Marines were slewn in retaliation by the Black Armored Warriors either by quick strikes from the blades, or by shots from the bizarre bolt pistols. The last two were quickly slewn by the Marine with the triangular hat, his saber slashing deeply one of the Chosen and immediately stabbing the other one. Hersha took a look at the Space Marine's face as he rose to see the Chaos Lord. The Marine's armor had also a red left side of the chest and arm. A part of his triangular hat. He had a bionic eye with a tiny purity seal affixed to it, and an impressive beard. Not as impressive as seen among space wolves that Hersha fought in the past, but still something. So you be T Chaos Lord in charge of this here warband, B.I. Correct spoke the marine with the hat. Hersha never heard such strange accent. T name me second mate Williams Oath Crimson Blades and I'm here to slay you in T name Odom on Terror. The Chaos Lord didn't expect him to introduce himself. My name is Lord Hersher of the World Eaters you lap dog of the Emperor. I challenge you and your underlings to a fight. Face me, if you dare call Hersher, clearly excited by the display of skills the marine showed. The other marines were ready to jump at the Chaos Lord, but William stopped them by raising his arm. Wait here lads. If Scurvy Kerr wants tea fight, then we do so. Yet will be only two of us. Ye all just stay back and observe. 
If somebody comes in who ain't ours, then ye know what he do. Faratik be mine tea fight. With this both the second mate and the corn lord sprinted at each other. Blood for the blood god roared Herschel as he stretched his lightning claw towards the second mate, but he starts quickly deflected the claw with his saber. Moments later Hersh's power axe swung from the right, but Williams immediately swung his saber and used its blunt side and hit the power sheathed metal handle. Immediately after blocking it, Williams used his left hand and punched the Chaos Lord in the face. Hersh felt like being hit by a boulder, for such was the strength of Williams. Yet even that didn't faze the champion of corn. That's quite the pragmatic way to fight. But this won't defeat me this way, I be just warming up replied Williams. Hersh tried yet again to slash Williams with his lightning claw, but the marine made a short jump back while raising his saber. The lightning claw scraped his chest armor, but the retaliation was quick. A rapid slash and Hersh screamed with rage as his claw arm was cut off. Wobby oh don't tell me a cornered actually feels pain. Silence lapdog this is not over or back the cornered lord. Suddenly spasms started to shake the chaos marine as he suddenly grew an enormous mutated claw in place of his lightning claw. Now that's evident cheating. If you be doing that, then I too will do so. With that Williams pulled out the pistol he had behind and immediately shot the chaos lord in the axe arm. Shooting off his weapon along with his hand that still gripped it. The chaos lord again felt pain. But the rage dimmed it for him. You honestly think that would help you and in this moment a tentacle sprout out of the stump where Hersha had his axe. Now ye awarded it traitorous cur. Williams plunged towards Hersha's power axe while avoiding the tentacle. The second mate grabbed the Chaos Lord's axe, while it was still gripped by the hand of the previous user, and quickly took a defensive stance. Picking up your enemy's weapon wouldn't that be considered a crime for you Imperials to use it I will be borrowing it for a short time. I be not going to keep it, replied the space marine. Hersh lashed out with the tentacle yet again, but Williams anticipated this and dodged the strike, only to stab it with his saber. The Chaos Lord now really got irritated and closed the distance to shred the crimson blade with his mutated claw, but was countered when the marine hit the claw with the axe. Although deactivated when it was shot off, the weapon was still powerful enough to bury itself into the claw, directly into the joint in between making it useless. Damn you and your fighting are you playing with me roared Hersher as he tried to free his limbs. Williams on the other hand moved towards the bolt lock pistol he discarded in favor of the axe to pick it up and load it with a new round. Fight already coward are you even on a start at this point Williams loaded his bolt lock pistol, turned around and aimed at the chaos lord. Fair crying out loud, shut up. Williams at this moment shot the chaos lord. The marine aimed for the head of the chaos lord. But the bolt round blew off only the left half of Hersha's head. Remember this chaos scurvy cur. It's one that scuttled ye be no other than second mate Williams Oath Black Locks Crimson Blades Company know this afore ye go tea thwarp with this the final embers of consciousness escape the surprised chaos lord as his now lifeless body slumped to the ground. And that's also feth people ye massacred. With the chaos lord Hersha dead. Williams sat down on the rubble and took out a blocky smoking pipe and small pouch of smoking weed. He loaded some into the pipe and took out a lighter in the shape of an aquila and ignited the weed. One of the marines that accompanied Williams approached him. Second mate. Of the six of ours, two will somehow get out of this. The wounds aren't this serious, so they were lucky. Brother and Sglar is in critical condition and the rest. That's all fair with that lad. Call in a storm raven and tell the apothecaries to take care of rest. Interrupted in William's wasp status on that ritual th world eaters were doing we stopped them halfway through. The witch doctors are now dispelling the effects of the ritual. Ye serpent watch fellas know well how to deal with this better than anyone o us. Have ye contacted the imperial guard yes sir. They want to talk to you on the vox. Tell them to wait. Now I need to clear me thoughts. And then call in a witch doctor and a chaplain. Once he be sure not cancerous didn't jump into me from that axe, replied Williams to the serpent watch marine and quickly added on further hand collected fair purification. Twill look gorgeously aft tetch marines are done purging it. End of holographic memory. Dreadnought Williams. Battle of Rasax Prime. 456.40 millennium. 
So yeah, I just kind of wanted to fuck about with the editing voice, to be honest with you. Um, I think that came out as a half-decent Space Marine voice with text to speech You know, I, I I didn't think it was too bad. I'm sure I'll look forward to the comment section to see if people love it or hate it. I'm sure it's going to be Marmite, if I'll be honest with you. It's going to be pure artistic screech and going, Aah! you know, you can, you can see it. I can, I can, I know it. I know what they're like. I know my comment section. I know they don't like change. So, look, um, <laughs> I don't know, look, it's a one-off video, it's a wee short one, I thought it was a lot of fun, I think it was maybe we might do the voice again sometimes, um, you know, I, I just wanted to dick about, if anything, but look, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the story, I quite liked it, I thought it was, an, I thought it was nice extracting the memories out of it, glad not, you know, I thought that was a really nice touch at the end, but look, here, tell us what you think down below, and I'll see you in the next video.